Let's take a look at this soil texture triangle and we'll talk all about how to use it to place you somewhere between sand, silt, and clay. Now, uh, remember this is uh, a spectrum. And if you had a spectrum between two points, you're gonna be somewhere on a line. But because this is a spectrum between three extremes, it makes a triangle. So we're going to be somewhere along this triangle with each and every soil type. It can be a little bit tricky to read this because uh, we've got numbers 0 to 100, 0 to 100, and 0 to 100 on all three sides. And so when you find out what percentage of each of these soil separates you have, you need to make sure you're reading it the right way. So uh, let's just say we find out we have sand, silt, and clay. And let's say we discover that we have 60% sand and that we have 20% clay. Now, if we have 60% sand and 20% clay, what percent silt should we have? We know that it needs to add up to 100%. So we know we should have 20% silt because all three of these should add up to 100. So if we've got 60, 20, and 20, we'll consult our soil texture triangle. And for the sand, notice how it says percent sand and then see this little arrow pointing in this direction that is telling you that we are going to read our lines in this direction. So we take our 60% sand and we find 60% on the triangle, and we are going to read that in this direction for sand. If we take our percent silt as 20%, we come up here, and here is percent silt at 20. Notice this arrow is pointing down in this direction, so that means we are going to read silt down this way. So if we take the sand at 60 and bring it up this way, and bring the silt at 20 and bring it down this way, we follow the lines until they intersect. And to check that we did it right, we look at our third piece, here percent clay, see the arrow going horizontal. And so we go up to clay, 20%. So for this first example, we are right on the edge of a sandy clay loam and a sandy loam. Notice how large the clay piece of the triangle is. What that tells you is if you have 60% clay, no matter what else you have, you are going to be considered a clay soil. Whereas if you have more than 90% sand, that is the only thing that will make you a pure sand. Let's do one more just to practice. So let's say that we have 70% silt and that we have 10% sand. So if we have 10% sand, 70% silt, how much clay should we have? 
again, 20%. So we take our sand and we look at our 10%. And so we're gonna be coming up on this line. We take our silt and we find 70%. And we're going to be coming down on this line. So if we have sand and silt, we double check that with our clay percentage. It all adds up to 100. So for this soil, we are a silt loam. We can work in reverse if we want to know what is a clay loam right in the middle. It doesn't have to be on the line, it can be in the middle. We take a look and we can say clay loam, perfectly balanced clay loam would be about 35% sand. And it would be about 35% percent clay and obviously we know it's more like 33 and a third so there is our clay loam soil so this works uh, in both directions and whatever your separate percentages are you use that to give you a classification of texture